Hey guys, this is Cody Jones with Jengus Genetics LLC. Uh, trying to do videos a little more often and get them posted. Just doing a quick video. It's springtime. Uh, I've got a lot more lambs. Uh, sheep. My lambs came a little early this year. Uh, the rams jumped in for a few days, and rams jumping in for a few days, you you get all your used bread apparently. So um, that is what it is. But we're we're needing more sheep pasture for sure. So I'm cleaning out old fence rows, adding a high tensile hot wire underneath. Uh, it's not perfect, but it uh, seems to be working so far for me, and that's where I'm at. Uh, so just taking you along with the tools. These are tools that I use to clean up old fences. Uh, obviously, you could you could do this with a obviously you could do this with uh, an axe or uh, a saw. Uh, you could go all the way and just pull it out with a skid loader and put it all back in. But this is what I'm doing right now. So I'll turn you around. I'll show you my tools. I'll show you the before and some before and after photos kind of talk you through it my multi-purpose uh everything machine the little honda rancher it's uh, essential for me and then i've got a steel fs 94 r yep i keep calling it a 95 it's 94 r with the uh just a brush blade on it and then got a little bit of crossbow and diesel fuel i don't really like using a lot of chemicals but uh when i go through this much work i sure don't want the the things that I'm doing today to come back in a couple weeks, uh, especially not just making them mad. Uh, little trees and stuff, they'll just shoot sprouts. So I do go ahead and just paint them a little bit with some crossbow and red diesel, or crossbow diesel fuel. Um, this is the new baby I got. It's the steel 60, it's been a while since I looked at it, or since I read the number on it. Yeah, 261, MS 261. It's the uh, professional, I think it's 50 or 55 cc's or whatever. It's got a 18 inch bar. You could go with a 16, but some kind of chainsaw if you're gonna be cutting down big trees. That's kind of what it looks like before. Uh, these cedar trees, this fence hasn't really been cleaned up. I'm 29, my grandpa passed away when I was eight ish and dad paid a fencing guy to come through and patch things up about i don't know 15 16 years ago maybe maybe 20 i don't know it's it's pretty rough so nobody's really touched it since then i had goats they uh, helped clean things up but they weren't going to work on cedar trees about that big um so this is kind of what it looked like before And what my plan is, just put a couple posts on each side and strain this up pretty good. And then uh, put a high tensile hot wire underneath. That's what I've got along the road. And as long as you're keeping it hot, uh, 9 to 10,000 volts, at least 6,000, seems to be working pretty well. But the sun's behind me. But it, it this all pretty well looks like this. Got the cows over in the background grazing some, some fresh green. I'll take you over and show you what it what I've already cleaned. Uh, so out. this is just a little model mock gate here. Probably won't stay for too long, but it's up for right now. Um, you can see how it looks. I I don't like taking out all the trees, so I did leave a hedge tree up there. I'll cut into posts maybe later if I don't like it. But got a bunch of cedar posts. I pushed all that up with my tractor, cleaned her out really good, and uh, the sheep will come back in. They would take care of it if I didn't put that hot wire underneath, but I uh, trying to get rid of this lane and make sure that sheep stay where they're supposed to. So it's a, it's a learning process. Anyway, uh, got a lot of little cedar posts and been building some high tensile fence for that. Not gonna leave for too long, but good temporary fence. So uh, that's my process. Hope it helps you guys.
anyway, that took me a total of about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Uh, but just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what we're doing, what I'm doing here. And it's not too difficult. I made a post, of, I'm going to make a post out of that. So that takes a little longer. If you were just going to cut it and burn it, no big deal. Um, kind of what my thought process on painting stumps, anything as big as my thumb is uh, going to get a little touch. Especially like trees that will be sprouting back. There's not too many here I'm too worried about. Uh, now your your cedar trees, you don't have to hit them. They're, if you cut them below the lowest green limb, no big deal. This multiple rose, it'll be back if we don't paint it. Here's another little one and his buddy. And you could, I know a lot of people paint these stumps. You got to get them within so long of doing it. I try to get them in 30 minutes, but I think I've heard three hours. Uh, I've used Tordon too. Um, to be honest, I haven't had enough experience to know which one works better. But I like carrying this, and I think it's a lot cheaper. Uh, and I'm being just as exact... I'm pretty sure is I would be with a with the tort on, but anyway, so again that's what we started with. And uh think really not focusing today. This is what we're what we're getting to. You kind of push this up or leave it and it'll rot eventually. Cattle lead around it. But I'm gonna cut this other tree out. And uh, we're going down to that next little batch of cedars. So that's uh, that's my process, what I'm doing. And uh, if it interests you, I hope it helps. And I did, uh, I guess I can say this, after I cut those cedar posts, I tried, it was pretty been pretty wet here. So I tried pushing some into the ground. That that didn't work. Cedar doesn't push well with the, just a, a uh, tractor and a loader bucket so i ended up here we go ended up uh digging a hole and putting that one in and that's anything i'm gonna put a little tension on that's what i had to do i've got some smaller ones just for temporary line posts leave a fence up for two or three years probably as my sheep herd grows i know they'll have to make it a little easier to move those pull them up or let them rot and pull the wires off or whatever i decide to do but it's working pretty good so far, so hope this helps. Have a good day.